Hi beauties, it's me Jaja and welcome to Jaja Live. Today's video is going to be how I went from this natural color one on my lace front wig to get this beautiful blonde mix that you see here on the right side of the screen. The curls do look a little bit different as well because I did a flexi rod set on the hair. Also, this is not going to be an actual tutorial, but just how I achieved this color. I was really kind of doing some experimenting. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. These are the products that I used here. They will all be linked down in the description box. Here, um, I'm just showing you the um, sections that I parted the hair in. This is, um, I just did little twists in the hair. Um, I don't know exactly how many twists, but I did several of them and I wanted kind of smaller sections to work with So that's what you see here and then on the right side of the screen. I'm just um, adding my bleaching powder And I used my 40 volume developer to mix with that and it is the cream developer I ended up using two different types of bleaching powder just because I ran out of the first one but you can certainly use any bleaching powder that you like also, I like to make my bleach mixture a little bit thick to keep it from being too messy and also so that it adheres to the hair better as well. Here I've kind of skipped along in the process. Um, this is just adding the bleach to each section. As you can see, I just take down the section and apply the bleach. And this is the first color that I ended up with after I applied the bleach. The right side is just the hair um, having dried overnight and that's the color that I got this is the next day um, I went ahead and sectioned the hair again and I'm going to be bleaching the hair for a second time this uh, process was very laborious um, it took I think over a span of three or four days for me to do this um, so yeah so actually here I'm sorry this is not me bleaching the hair again yet. Before I bleached it a second time, I actually used this hair color 8A slash 740.5. And this is the Wella um, Color Charm permanent hair color that I added. And then I put some of my red gold corrector in there as well. And I started off by applying the hair color on the tips of the hair first. And I did that all over in each section. And then um, I worked my way up from there after I applied it on the bottom portion of the hair first. And here you can see I'm working my way upward from the bottom. And throughout this process, um, as I was adding the hair color, I did kind of comb it through with my comb. And here you can see the hair is pretty much saturated. I'm just working on this very last section here and I'm just combing the hair color through. You can kind of already tell that it's kind of got a little bit more of a cooler um, color to it versus that original more um, gold um, blonde color that you saw earlier. So this was um, the next day. <laughs> I had already washed the hair and I had applied um, some coconut oil. I had let it soak overnight. So that's why the hair kind of has that really oily weighed down look because it does have coconut oil on it. And here I just section the hair off again and this is where I'm actually bleaching the hair a second time because I did want to go lighter. So again, I just sectioned the hair off into some smaller sections to make it easier to work with and I'm applying the bleach uh, for a second time. I did start at the bottom portion of the hair first um, and then I wrapped it in foil. Also, yes, I am wearing a mask and I was just really over smelling all of these hair chemicals but I wanted to get this project done so that's why I threw on my mask. I did start again with the bottom portion of the hair. 
um, first and then I wrapped that with foil and I did all of the sections like that first and then you'll see I'll go back after um, a few minutes and I'm just checking the hair here and now I'm going to go ahead and add the bleach to the um, top portions of the hair and I do leave um, about an inch to two inches of the roots darker to give somewhat of a grown out effect on the the look and then this is the hair after bleaching it the second time this was definitely closer to the color um, lightness that I was wanting and on the right side you see me here I just uh, blow dried the hair and now I'm applying the T10 pale blonde toner and um, I started in the back with the toner and you'll see later on in the video I actually ran out of this toner um, and I still had um, maybe a fourth of the hair to do so uh, what I did after I applied all of the T10 on as much of the hair as I could I went in with the 050 additive and it's I think a violet additive and um, you're supposed to actually mix it in with um, your toner but um, what I ended up doing was actually applying the T, uh, I'm sorry, the 050 additive by itself, mixed with the 20 volume developer. So um, you'll see that in a minute. But here I'm still applying the T10, and I'm making sure I focus on the roots since I see I'm going to be running out and I don't have enough. So I really focused on the roots um, with that. And then here's the 050 Cooling Violet Additive. And you can see the hair that I'm combing through right now, it still does not have a toner or anything on it. Um, and I'm still adding that very last bit of, of um, the T10 toner. And then on all the other portions of the hair, like I said, I went ahead in with the 050 Additive. And it made the... Um, hair very very light very very quickly so I had to work super super fast um, I actually thought that the hair was gonna get way too white but um, thankfully uh, I rinsed it out just in time to get the exact color that I wanted okay beauties that's going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and again this wasn't so much meant to be an actual hair tutorial as it was more so kind of the process that I went through and the products that I used to achieve this beautiful blonde mix because I was really really pleased with how it turned out and some of you might also want to tackle a project like this and I really hope that you found this video helpful um, and I hope that you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye-bye.